Hey guys, my name is Dara and I'm the director of paid social at a fully remote marketing agency. Today I wanted to share with you guys the easiest way to upload a product catalog to Facebook ads manager. And look, I hate doing this kind of stuff. I hate installing the pixel. I hate testing event tracking. You know, I really feel like I'm more well-versed in the creative end in things. And when it gets a little bit more technical, like I don't feel comfortable with this kind of stuff. So when I discovered the super easy way to do this, I wanted to share with you guys so that you could take advantage of one of Facebook's most powerful tools when it comes to advertising online. And the reason why you guys should do this is because the product catalog allows you to actually retarget customers with products that they've already indicated interest in. So on my Dara Does Marketing fake Shopify store, um, yeah, please don't go here. <laughs> you can see I have a featured collection filled with some products of dog costumes and clothing. So what a product catalog would actually allow us to do is say a customer um, clicked on the, the Soho sweatshirt and added to cart. The next time that they went to Facebook or Instagram, you could actually dynamically retarget those people so that they see this exact product in their social media feeds, which is really, really powerful. Um, in this method I'm going to share with you guys, this is exactly what I do at the agency and also with my personal clients. So let's dive in. Okay, so we're going to be starting at your Shopify homepage. And from here, we're going to go to apps. So we will be downloading an app to do the heavy lifting on installing this product catalog. So we're going to visit the Shopify app store. And we'll be downloading an app called Flexify. Sweet, right here. So Flexify is free for up to your first 1,000 products. Um, there is a premium version which allows you to have better control over the way that your images show up in Facebook or Instagram. But just starting off, just install the free version. I definitely use it for the free version for a number of clients, so it's totally fine. So when you first download it, um, you'll see this screen. You will not be seeing um, this little notice. It's just because I deleted it so that I could show you um, the exact process for getting to, um, for downloading your product catalog. So if you click on apps again, um, you can see that you have this Flexify Facebook product feed, and this is where your app's gonna live. So go ahead and click on that. And again, you won't see this little notice, but what you're gonna do is you're going to um, add the collection. So yes, you are gonna have to have a collection already made in Shopify, and for this purpose, you want to create one with all of your products so that um, no matter which product one of your customers lands on, you can be able to retarget them. So we have the all products collection selected. Um, you want to make sure to click on this use SEO titles and description so that um, Google has an easier time finding you. Um, and some of these are just premium upgrades. So for this purpose, you're not gonna have to worry about them. You're also gonna be able to see what your images are gonna look like both in Facebook um, for the cropped option and for the fill option. Um, as you can see, all those all tend to look the same. And if they do, that's a good indication that you don't need to upgrade unless you have more than a thousand products. Um, this right here is a feed generation time. So with Flexify, it's actually going to look at your Shopify account for you at a specific time every day to update those products as long as the products that you're adding to your Shopify site is in that catalog. So I like to do this in the middle of the night, like 4 a.m. 
Um, these are other premium features. And then last easy step is to save your feed. And now, so this is actually where your feed lives, which is super cool. So we wanna go ahead and copy that. And then we're gonna head on over to Facebook Ads Manager. So once you're here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and click on Catalog Manager. You're gonna go ahead and click on Data Sources, Add Products, and here we're going to be choosing a bulk upload because um, we do not want to add all of our products one by one and we're not going to be using the pixel for this. Um, and when you see here that we actually have another few options to choose from and here we're going to select schedule feed and enter URL. So here is where we'll be entering the URL from our Flexify app. So we'll go ahead and enter it there. Click Next. And now you're gonna be planning your update too. So um, really, we only wanna do this once a day. And I would recommend to do this again in the middle of the night, kind of like when, um, when Flexify is going to be uploading from Shopify. So the way that it's working is that um, Flexify is syncing to the product catalog and then Flexify is then syncing to Ads Manager. So let us do, okay, that's fine. And then here we want to name the data source. So you can go ahead and just keep the, um, the regular name. And you want to select your currency. For this purposes, it's USD. And then you're going to hit upload. So depending on how many products you're uploading this first time around, um, shouldn't really take super long. Um, and there we go, very quick. And it says that I have eight products in the data feed and that's exactly how many products I have on my Shopify. So that's perfect. And now you're ready to create your first ad. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like actually. So now you've already, you know, you've done all the heavy lifting, your product catalog is installed but I wanna show you what you can do with that. So, so when you're in Ads Manager, we're gonna go ahead and create a campaign. This is gonna be considered catalog sales. And here you're gonna see this catalog portion pop up. And you can see that I have many catalogs, um, even two for this purpose, sorry guys. But just make sure that um, you can see your products come in here. So go ahead and click on that one. Um, let's not go wild, let's do a daily budget of five just for this purpose. I'm not gonna do any of the targeting, really. What I want to do is I just want to show you guys what your ads will look like. 